Since 1960, more than one million whites have left New York City. The black and Hispanic population has grown by almost one million, and it's still growing. This is Rosedale, a community of 6,000 families in the far southeastern pocket of the borough of Queens. To the passing eye, it seems quiet, modest one and two family homes with fenced in lawns and tree shaded streets. The people who live here are almost all white, working class Americans of Italian, Irish, and Jewish roots. They've worked all their lives to afford these homes. Many came from the inner city, refugees from neighborhoods in the Bronx, Brooklyn, and South Jamaica. Neighborhoods they saw changing and dangerous to live in. These people saved their money and made their escape to what they called the last frontier in New York City, to Rosedale, to what they hoped would be a safe and quiet life. In the early 1970s, a few middle-class black families with very much the same idea in mind began to move to Rosedale too. The whites saw their coming as a threat, the forerunner of more blacks bringing crime, blight, and poor services they had witnessed in other neighborhoods in the city and the peace of Rosedale was shattered. In 1971, a score of men and teenage boys using axes and picks nearly destroyed a house reportedly bought by a black man married to a white woman. 200 residents stood by and watched. Since then, more than 10 acts of violence have been aimed at the few blacks living in Rosedale. The tension escalated with the coming of the Spencers. In the summer of 74, Tony and Glenda Spencer bought this seven-room house on 136th Avenue. They came to New York from the West Indies after living in London. Spencer, a photo engraver in Manhattan, said they just wanted a good place to live. But some whites suspected them of blockbusting, of trying to force lower property values on Rosedale homes so other blacks could afford to buy here. Before the Spencers moved in, their house was set on fire with gasoline. They moved anyway. On New Year's Eve day a year ago, while the Spencers and their sons slept, a pipe bomb exploded on the porch and smashed through the windows of the house. Police said the bomb was intended to wipe out the family. Attached to the bomb was a note that read, Nigger be warned, we have time. We will get your firstborn first. It was signed, Viva Boston, KKK. Don't get out of my neighborhood. Don't come to this neighborhood. Then they start punch hitting on her. Throwing rocks and everything else. We're throwing rocks. Because we were in their neighborhood. We went on a bike hike to McDonald's. We didn't, even, we didn't mean to bother anybody. We had a nice we saw a parade. We saw there. a gathering. So we went down there to see what was happening. All right. I mean, we didn't bother anybody. We weren't looking for trouble. I never even know people around here were like that. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. What happened to you? Nothing happened. everything. 
We they always say we're doing everything, right? We don't read it every time the white people come down the block. We don't push them out their neighborhood and throw rocks and start hitting them. We don't bother the white people around our neighborhood, but when we get in a white neighborhood, they they just push us Treat out. Like we do them. Yeah, everybody, everybody with us, they say so with nothing, you know, they with a piece of dirt, dogs. I mean, that's the way you treat an animal. I mean, God, we're human beings. Yeah. You don't treat other people like that. It's just wrong. Black, why don't care? A person is a person. Skin should have no bearing on how you treat a person. That's just wrong. I hate that goddamn gut. I can't say that I hate them. I, I can't say that it's totally the kid's fault. I mean, I'm sure their parents had some bearing on the way they feel and everything else. I think it's just the system. I don't know. I can't say that I hate them because I don't hate them. Do you forgive them? No. No. Oh, no. Can't take back no hurt. But they go, they gonna always do that. They always spit on us like we some dogs. They always spit gonna do back that. on them. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing gonna change.